here with Cody Stansky, aka Sensky. We are here with Mike Martin, We're here with Kite Foil League athlete Will Sear. What's up, everybody? Connor Corgard here, live with the Kite Foil League event number one up at Sherman Island in California, north of San Francisco. the last couple races at least inside the time limit I think so I'm, pr I'm pretty satisfied with that really there you go sometimes that's all you can ask for But the, the conditions are great. I mean, it's pretty flat, good water, and I think everyone is having a, a great time on the water. So good, good battles out there. I love it. Willie, what is the Kite Foil League? What's this inaugural event? What's it all about? Yeah, totally. Um, you know, we're kind of just a group of, like you said, kite enthusiasts who want to see this thing really blow up and, and we want to see good racing here nationally um, for, for kiters in the U.S. Um, and really what we hope to see eventually is, you know, more events here that are super high level, regional, national, international at some point events. Awesome. So we've got some really big names here and there's a very big depth in the fleet here. What's our plan for the weekend? I think we're really trying to get as much racing in here as we can. Um, this venue is incredible. You know, I, I this is my first time up here to Sherman, um, and it's like it's like paradise for kiting. familiar you're allowed to select uh, and enter an event actually with four different size kites and you can select which one to get out on you know what size he was on is that something that's kept secret how does that work going uh, onto the water yeah you, it's kind of uh, you don't want people to know all the time it's good to be the last guy out if you think you're doing something smart so uh, end of the day I I just try to be really systematic I try to show up to a spot before we race get the numbers know the sensors and make it mathematical because then it's emotionless um, so that's what I'm gonna do today. Awesome. What size are you going? Nine. Nine? Nice and small. Eleven. Uh, nice. Tough decision. Alright, thanks. I have to go 15 then. We learned. No, I don't have a death fish. Eleven? The plot thickens. Okay, let me see how this feels. We are here with Mike Martin, uh, one of the top kite foilers on the day here so far. Mike, how's your uh, how's your regatta going here at the Kite Foil League event number one? 
Uh, it's going okay, you know, like it, it's a super tight fleet. So when you sail well, you beat the guys around you. And when you make a mistake, you get passed by the guys around you. So that's really the best you can ask for, right? So, you know, it makes it clear when you're doing things right and when you're not. We are here after race nine with Hantos Regas. Hantos, how'd your race go? Pretty good, pretty good. I think I got a good start, pretty clean. So I was able to take the right decisions uh, around the course. So on the top mark, it was a little bit of drama going on. He crashed right around the mark. So Johnny and I were pretty close. So that was pretty tight, but in the end, it was, it was pretty good. saw so many action-packed and intensely tight moments here at the Delta Pro, and we hope that you, the audience, and all of the athletes enjoyed tuning in. From all of us at Kite Foil League, we hope to see all of you back for our second event, the Seabreeze Invitational, starting the 16th of July in Long Beach, California. This is Connor Corgard signing off. <laughs>